An ordinary day in a small village in Sudan turned into one of excitement as the villagers spotted a huge beast coming their way. They could tell that there must be something wrong with it because it approached at a slow pace and its belly looks very unnatural. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. As the creature came closer, they realized that it is a giant crocodile heading their way. Some villagers panicked and took the kids away. The men realized it seemed to be asking for help. They slid open the stomach as a way to save it and were surprised by what they found inside. The muddy rivers of the Nile are home to a lot of crocodiles. People living by the Nile have also been in a constant battle for survival with these dangerous animals over the years. It was a constant battle over food and lives. As much as possible, crocodiles and humans would avoid each other unless one of them acts as a threat. Children were taught from an early age to stay away from the Nile River and were told horrific stories of how hungry crocodiles can easily snatch them up. But when a giant crocodile showed up in his village, Michael forgot all the warnings he had kept to heart growing up by the Nile. When he saw that the crocodile seemed to be in pain, he decided to act and help out for the greater good. Michael is a 38-year-old man who had lived in his village all his life. He fell in love with a girl from the same village and ended up marrying her and staying there. Life in the village was not the best, but Michael always made the best out of any situation he was in. Michael was able to make a small farm, and that farm provided more than enough for his family. This allowed him to help out other people in his village. It is because of his kindness and generosity that Michael has become very popular in their community. Michael was also known for his fearlessness. Whether it was an animal attack or confronting people who had bad intentions, Michael would always be willing to risk his life to protect others. In fact, he has the scars to prove it. The whole village loved Michael and considers him their hero and unofficial leader. So when someone spotted a giant beast approaching the village, they all turned to Michael. Although their small village was close to the Nile, they did not usually have to deal with threats. The crocodiles and the hippopotamuses would often just stay in the river. The people also found a way to stay away from the river. The men in their village created a water passage so that part of the stream can flow into their village. For the first time in a long time, a crocodile had gone beyond the riverbed. In all the years that Michael had lived in the village, this has never happened before, so it was quite a shock for the villagers. And this was not just an ordinary crocodile, it was enormous. The crocodile positioned itself in the water flow passage that let the Nile distribute water to the village. The huge size of the crocodile blocked almost all of the water. There was barely any stream going down the village. A few women from the village who planned to do some laundry noticed that there was no water. They walked down to the river and this is how they discovered the crocodile. They began to scream and ran back to the village. Mikkel and the men came running and were surprised at the size of the creature. They tried to lure him away from the passage, but the crocodile does not seem to have any interest in moving. This could be a huge problem if the crocodile stays there for a long time. If the crocodile stays in the passage, there would be no water in the village. This meant the farms in the villages were not getting enough water. That would be a big problem since their village was far from the city and they relied solely on their farm to feed themselves. They had to find a way for the crocodile to move away from the passage. Michael tried to get the crocodile's attention once more and noticed that every movement the crocodile made was painstakingly slow. One of the men suggested they move the crocodile on their own after observing that the creature could hardly move. Michael said that it was still risky because the crocodile could just be faking. Besides, the crocodile was way too big and heavy for them to push aside. Another man suggested that they kill the creature and move it after. But Michael was against this. Ever since he was a child, Michael always knew the value of life. Killing this crocodile would be an unnecessary waste for him and would be against his principles. This is when Michael noticed something unusual about the creature. Michael had seen a lot of crocodiles, but this one seemed different. It actually looked sick and weak. Could the creature be in pain? In. He could not stand the thought of an animal suffering. He felt like he had to do something. But what? Luckily, Michael remembered someone. A few weeks ago, the village had a visitor from the city, Jason. 
Jason was from a wildlife conservation group in the UK. As part of his mission to teach wildlife conservation, Jason came to their village in Sudan to teach the villagers how they should deal with problems that involved wild animals. He tried to convince the villagers to avoid killing rare and large animals as much as possible. Michael knew Jason could be very helpful in this kind of situation. He did say that if they did have a problem, they can always call him for help. When Jason heard about the giant crocodile, he was very excited to see it, but there was a problem. Unfortunately, Jason was out in another village teaching. He says it would take two days worth of travel to reach Michael's village from there. The villagers who heard this said they could not wait that long to get their water supply back. They wanted immediate action, and the idea of killing the crocodile came up again. It was not only the quickest solution, but it would also give them food for a couple of days. The meat from the large crocodile could make up for the harvest lost due to lack of water. Hearing this, Jason begged them that they should let the animal live. He even promised the villagers that he would send them more food packages as a reward. But the villagers were not convinced. It seemed that Michael was the only person who thought Jason made sense. Michael tried to convince his fellow villagers to save the animal. He pointed out that killing it would only be great in the short term. It took a while, but the people in the village reluctantly agreed to try to save the crocodile first. But there was one big question. How? Jason suggested that they do a video call. He will contact the leading vet when it comes to crocodiles on the line as well. When Jason finally called back, the vet, Kate, was with them. Michael started walking around the giant crocodile slowly so that Kate could get a good look. He did this very carefully in case the crocodile would attack. But the crocodile seemed calm. Kate asked Michael to go over the crocodile's belly one more time. Kate then pointed out that there was an unnatural bulge in the crocodile's stomach. Michael and the village men see it too. Kate then said that based on where the bulge is located, whatever it is must be blocking the entrance to the crocodile's stomach. This explains why the crocodile was very sick. It swallowed something that his stomach could not digest, and this stopped him from consuming food. The crocodile was out of energy, which is why it is unable to move. Kate said the only way to save the creature was to get rid of that object. Someone will have to cut the crocodile carefully and remove the object. Michael immediately felt all eyes on him. Looked like the villagers thought it was a job for their local hero. It was his idea to save the crocodile after all. Michael said he would cut the crocodile, but he would need the help of the other men to restrain the crocodile. And somebody would have to hold up the tablet for Michael so that Jason and Kate could guide him. Kate gave them a list of things that they would need for the operation. The villagers gathered the supplies. The plan was to restrain the crocodile with ropes and place a cloth over its eyes. The crocodile was calm and barely put up a fight when the men started to restrain him. It just showed how bad the crocodile's condition was. When it was safe enough, Michael went to work. He placed a knife in the fire to kill off any bacteria, then made the first cut. Michael did two more cuts to gain entrance to the crocodile's stomach. He could feel the object that was stuck in the crocodile and tried to push it out of the hole carefully. When the object finally came out, everyone could not believe it. It was an old blue football. Nobody saw that coming. Where could the crocodile have found this? Nobody in the village owned such a ball. Who knows how long that crocodile had been suffering because of this ball? Kate instructed Michael to stitch up the insides of the crocodile. Then he had to tape the leathery skin shut as much as possible. Once the crocodile was free, it was noticeable that he was able to move better after the operation. Some of the villagers got older fish from their stock so that they can lure the crocodile out of the passage. They made a trail of the old fish leading to the water. The crocodile was eagerly eating up the fish and following the trail to the Nile.